Hello, and welcome to Introspect Technologies video on panel self-refresh testing solution. Let's start by talking about the two products that we offer that are capable of testing panel self-refresh functionality. These two products are the SV5C EDP generator and the SV5C EDP analyzer. These two are Introspect's generator and analyzer combo for DisplayPort and embedded DisplayPort. This is the hardware setup that we will be using for this live demo. We are simulating a source directly connected to a SIG device. Now, let's quickly show our two tests, one for PSR1 and one for PSR2. On the left here, we have the test script for the generator. And on the right, we have the test script for the analyzer. We already have all the link training components properly set up for this test. We just have to add the super simple DP panel self-refresh component to our test script and pick our desired settings. For this initial PSR1 test, we'll be sending PSR1, and we'll have a uh, base image pattern of ocean.jpg. For the update image patterns, we'll be using tree.jpg and tree2.jpg. And in between the PSR update frames, we'll be sending one frame of color bar pattern. With this all set up, we can click F5 to run the test. And with that, you can see that link training has been successful and we are starting to compile the panel self-refresh test. With that finished, we can switch over to the analyzer and capture the panel self-refresh test that we are sending from our generator. And with that finished, we can open up our results file and expand the window. OK, let's start at the highest level. For that, we go to the Frames tab. And from here, we can see every captured frame. We can see the two PSR uh, columns here, PSR Enable and PSR Update. These tell us that if we have, if we have found uh, PSR secondary data packets, or SDPs for short, in the frame. We can see here that tree and tree2.jpg have PSR update SDPs inside them, but the color bar pattern does not. So if we go to the first active line of this frame here, we can see the video stream configuration SDP right here, which are in the vertical blanking. These are the type of SDPs used for controlling panel self-refresh. And we can confirm that this is a PSR update SDP. For our second test, we will conduct PSR2 test with a selective update region and with the TX turned off during the PSR active state. That means ALPM will be used instead of sending color bar frames. With this setting, we can choose how much TPS1 and TPS2 we want to send after wake up, and we can choose what our selective update region will be. With, uh, with this test, we will just be keeping everything as default. With that, we can click F5 once again to run this test. All right, with that done, we can go into the analyzer and run to capture the data. And now we can open this result file. Expand the window. In the frames tab, we can see uh, the frames that are being sent, but there is a difference. We can only see the frames that are valid. That is because the TX is not sending invalid frames anymore. The TX is turning off between the update frames. If we go to this hyperlink to see the very first uh, active uh, line this packet, we can investigate where the PSR update SDPs are located. We can see the three 
uh, video stream configuration SCPs being sent for the selective update region in the horizontal blanking this time for PSR2. We can also see the ALPM being used to turn off and wake up the main links uh, with the five sleep, box wake, PPS1 and 2 here. Thank you very much for uh, paying attention to this panel self-refresh testing solutions video brought to you by Introspect Technology.